I can't wait till next week on Rangs of Diversity, when a Middle Eastern orc is going to pursue a Chinese goblin. God, this is bad. Truth. That's it. Yes, it must be truth. Above all, when a man lies, he murders some part of the world. Oh, Amazon. Oh, Amazon, Amazon. You could have come, you've come so close. You came so close with some beautiful cinematography, um, some pretty damn good actors. First of all, and, and the acting, the acting is not the issue. The acting isn't the issue in this for me, to be honest with you. Um, and I love seeing the settings, pretty damn good. I mean, even the, the freaking dirty feet. <laughs> the acting is not the issue here. The issue is forced diversity. Again, we get that enough in the real world. I don't need that in my, my modern myths. Okay? Middle Earth, it was Tolkien's world, right? Middle Earth was um, was like, it was Britain, right? It was Europe. Every race in this world had different shades of a certain color, all right? Well, you know, albinos and shit like that, notwithstanding. Um, the forced diversity took me right out of it. First 10 minutes of this, of this show... Really was really good. I really I enjoyed it. I like Ladriel. Everybody's calling her Mary Sue. Some people are calling her Mary Sue. I understand where we're getting that from. The problem is when you have forced diversity, when you got wokeness, this just 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 wokeness just in your face in a show. You're gonna analyze the whole damn thing now. Right? You're gonna look at the fact that like women run almost everything in this show. All the leads. You know, all, all the all the lead the lead storylines are all women, which is fine with me. I, I, don't, I don't really don't mind that. I also don't mind um, uh, other other you know, races, other color, other types of people in, in parts of film. That that doesn't bother me. This is this is not the issue. This is not the issue. If you wanted to bring in darker skinned people, you should have done it from the areas in Tolkien's world where that wasn't really explored. Um, the regions or other continents that weren't really explored. There's a, there's an ep there's a part in episode two where um, Gladriel comes across a shipwreck. And uh, there's like the woman there looks like she might be uh, like Middle Eastern or Indian or you know, something like that. like okay that kind of makes sense so the, the good way to bring them in you want to bring in characters of other uh, the darker darker skin tones um, from other races outside of Middle Earth do it have no problem with that none whatsoever my issue is where the hell do blobbits come from where do blobbits come from where do blobs come from now we got blurs. What is going on? Okay, and and the, the begs this this question begs this question. If in the Lord of the Time of the Lord of the Rings, none of these none of these skin tone characters or races existed, or none of these none of none of these skin tones existed at that time. Did they kill off all the black people, all the black elves and the black hobbits and the black? Did they all get sickle cell and die? What? Well, it doesn't make sense. This it doesn't add up. It's only there for diversity's sake. You could have done this much more tastefully. The dwarf prince's wife. First off, I thought dwarf women had beards. Where's her beard? All right? And the acting didn't take me out of it. The actress did a fine job. It was not the acting. You could have brought in races from, you know, you could have, I mean, if, what, where, it could have been a gray dwarf or something, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a Tolkien expert. Y'all out there, you tell me. Write in the comments below. Were there, I don't think there were draw elves in Tolkien's world, um, but if there were, let me know. I don't, but I don't look like, look, the diversity healer took me right out. The diversity healer, all right, why does diversity healer have an Indonesian kid and a black elf boyfriend? What the hell is going on? I have no problem with interracial relationships. You love who you love. I have no problem with that, okay? But we've had them jammed down our throats for over two decades now, just jammed, like a black man and a black woman can't have a relationship, or a Korean uh, couple, or a white couple, or a whatever couple can't you can't be together, right? You got you got you got to jump in bed with somebody from a, you have to, or you're or you're some type of racist jump in bed with somebody from another race. What if what if a black dude is attracted to black women, or vice versa? What if a white dude is only really attracted to white women, or vice versa? Chinese, Korean, Indonesian, whatever. What what if what if that is the case? What if it isn't about being racist? If you, it's just about liking what you like. A world, when you take a world like this, which is has a specific setting, specific character types, race types, there's specific, and your race swap, that's an issue. That is just so overtly racist. You are only, first off, the actor, 
the actor that played the the the, the Blelf, good armor was banging. By the way, I really enjoyed the armor on that guy, but you, you, it should not have. Been, it took me right out. It just took me right out of it. No explanation for it. Where's all Where's all the Blelves in the future? They all die off. Were they all hunted down and killed? What is the, what is the narrative that is being set up by this by this woke diversity? Why the, this the, this diversity push inside inside this show in places where it just does not belong? It's another ham fisted attempt to point the finger at somebody else. And go, oh, you're a racist if you don't like it. If you don't like this the 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 the, the, the re the repurposing of this modern mythology. Um, when the racists are the people that don't understand it and are putting are race swapping characters in it, the Harfoots. For God's sake, all them dirty people, all them dirty feet, <laughs> all them dirty feet. Acting was not a problem. Didn't have a problem with the. Actually, I really liked the acting of these of these, these these people in these in these parts. The acting is not the issue. The issue is forced diversity. This woke bullshit. Where all the where all the blobbits go? Where all the black hobbits go? Where all the blobbits go? Right? Where are they in the future? Did they all get stuck a cell and die? You know, what did, 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 did you know? Were they all hunted down and destroyed? Were they all killed? Um, did they all like keep effing? Did they keep effing and effing and effing each other until they were all the same color? Okay, then why they all look Caucasian in the future? This is the issue. Gladriel to me, not a Mary Sue. She's a bitch. She's not a Mary Sue. Like I don't mind seeing the, the evolution of that character. Um, the Elrond, uh, the character Elrond is a little off to me, but I'm I'm okay with it. Uh, oh, second off. Okay, so if Gladriel's hunting down Sauron this whole time, why in the hell would she accept a ring of power? Why would she even trust a ring of power? All right? The, 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 whole, the whole backstory of the ring. Why would she even accept that? She wouldn't have. I, I think they're going in the wrong direction with that. I mean, what the hell kind of a turnaround does this character have? I guess she finds a black elf. Maybe, maybe she finds an Asian elf. Maybe they got some elves out there. Or some Middle Eastern elves. <laughs> <laughs> she, she gets some she gets some diverse L dick and then you know it changes the whole perspective on things. So maybe she bang a siren. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going a little off I know I'm going off the deep end here. And why is she trying to swim across? Why is she trying to swim across the Atlantic? Why are you why wouldn't you go to the port? Why wouldn't you go to the port and then get a ship back? Some of this show does not make sense. Honestly, I find myself having a good time with it. I really do. I find myself having a good time with the dwarven cities. The, uh, the, the dwarves. Dwar they did great with the dwarves. With the exception of the prince's wife. For, you know, it just, that just takes me out of it. Yes, I thought the actress did well. Did, I really did. You know, did bubbly, light character uh, without a beard. Had a problem with that. And, and she, 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 she a blurf. She a blurf. I don't understand. Where did this go? Where's the mixed kids in the future? Where are all the mixed kids at? Where are all the mixed elves at and all the and mixed blobbits and all the mixed, all the mixed, where's all that at, right? You could get away with this if you had wanted to do it right, Amazon. If you would want to do it right, you would have brought in characters from the regions that were mostly unexplored in Tolkien's universe. Bring in those races, those types of humans, or whatever. And create a new, got create a new one. Why don't you be creative instead of repurposing what someone else had done and then changing it with forced diversity to fit your racist narrative? What's the problem? I'd also like to mention that um, uh, Amazon froze all their account, or froze all the reviews because people had a problem. The fans, the fans of Tolkien's universe, the fans of Lord of the Rings and, and, and the Hobbit had a problem with some of this, and they were silenced by Amazon. They said, nah. And then all of a sudden, the next day, after they froze the reviews, now there's a ton of one-star reviews, a ton of one-star reviews. This type of silencing of people's opinions is exactly why you're going to get video after video of people lambasting this show. Even if there are kernels of good in there, even if there are some things that are good in this show, you're going to have people lambast it. They're going to come right after it because of all the dumb shit that your, that your writers have said, your actors, your producers, accuse, already accusing people of racism. When you're the racist, Amazon, you and the people working on the show, you are the racist with this forced diversity bullshit. Takes me right out of it. And that is the problem. That takes me right out of this universe and reminds me once again, it reminds me once again 
why I'm fighting in this culture war, why we people like me and other YouTubers and other, uh, why people are having to constantly freaking fight for our modern myths, because they are being used as platforms to create division. Uh, it's uh, I, if to anybody I would uh, I would recommend you check this out on your own and see what you think. I do recommend that. Like I said, there's some beautiful cinematography. There's some beautiful shots in this. Um, there, there, it's, it's the, some of the story's good. I actually I like Lori or whatever uh, the, the, the 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 dirty the dirty foot. I like the dirty foot lead. She's pretty cool. I'm betting that with the the wizard. I bet that wizard, the the, the naked dude that fell from the sky. I'm betting you that's Gandalf. I'm just going to call that out right now. I'm betting you that's Gandalf. It would kind of make sense if he was found by hobbits and that he would have an attachment to those people. So I'm, I'm just, I'm calling it out right now. I'm going to keep watching the show and I'm going to keep calling out crap. Uh, I'm also going to tell you what I think is good. I'm just waiting. That's why I said at the beginning, I'm waiting to see. All right, we're going to get, <laughs> we're, uh, we're going to get, uh, we're going to get a Hawaiian, uh, <laughs> we're going to get a, get a Hawaiian uh, troll next week who, you know, and we're, we're going to get, <laughs> we're going to get, we're gonna get a Filipino orc, and uh, we're gonna get some. Uh, you know, is like what? What the hell? What the hell is going on? Please stop with the forced diversity, Amazon. Please stop with it. It's not helping. I don't want to say. I really don't. There, I do not want to support this. We're gonna talk about it. I'm not so much hate watching it as I am to hope that the story is good and makes sense. Um, there's, there's aspects of this that I like, but I'm telling you, every time you that I see that force, I see that woke ideology, that forced diversity in there where it should not belong. Um, it takes me right out of it. And it reminds me once again, as I'm sure it does many others, how disrespectful creatives create repurposers are with some of our favorite modern myths. Thank you guys so much. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you think. Please let me know in the comments what you think um, of this show. If you liked it, if you didn't, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Love you guys. Be good to each other. And suffer no fools.